Hi guys, and uh, we're actually showing off a snapshot of the new version of Minecraft today. Yeah, it's uh, the, um, it's like... Snapshot 1.9. Yes. So, look in the chest. You know, you, you just want to take out everything that's in there. D d d don't use it. You, want, you can put on the armor if you want. So, the, so not all, you'll notice not all of this. I think there's been a lot of changes. Yeah, I haven't add, put everything there, but, but like, yeah, no, that's not everything that's new. So, uh, go ahead and put on the armor, and you'll immediately notice that there's a new slot in your inventory. There is an item called a shield in your inventory. Put that in that slot, and put your sword in your hotbar, and your bow. So, go into uh, first person mode. Okay. So you immediately notice, instead of blocking with your sword, you block with your shield. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to have you test this out on a zombie now. Mm -hmm. uh, but he's... Oh. Mm -hmm. so I'm going to set the time to night. Mm -hmm. So that it doesn't die. Mm -hmm. And here we go. <laughs> Try blocking it. Try blocking it. You take to see how much reduced damage you take. No, no, try not blocking it from a zombie. So you actually take more damage. Okay, so go ahead and kill it. So now the other zombie, shoot with your bow. Shoot, shoot them with your bow. The first. You have different arm animations too. Yeah. Okay. So open. Go to the options. First, the escape menu. Yeah. Uh huh. First options, uh, skin customization, and you'll notice you'll be able to change your dominant hand. Go to main hand right and click on it, and click done. Mm. You're actually now left-handed, and we're going to have you play this way for the rest of the thing just for fun. So open your inventory. So much weird to be like this. Yeah. Open your inventory. Yes. They'll they've added the beat roots from the pocket edition. So you can so now you're gonna have beet root soup. Mm. 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 So, uh, shoot the cow with your bow. Okay. You notice there's, you've got different some different arrows in your inventory. The first one in your inventory uh. is a spectral arrow. Uh, don't do that because you won't be able to see the cow. Shoot the cow. Um, so you hit it. See, the first item in your inventory was an arrow of healing, which might sound a bit weird, but it actually heals the um, enemy. Uh, switch the first item in your inventory to the one with the yellow tip. Okay. Those are the spectral arrows. Um, that's a new potion effect. I'm going to spawn a zombie for you. And sh go ahead and shoot the zombie. You notice it's now glowing. That's the spectral effect. You Even if I place blocks between you, like these chests, you'll actually notice... It, uh, go find the chest, please. Oh, he's right out of that chest. Yeah. Go behind the chests. Go behind some blocks, even. So you'll be actually able to see him through the chest, Whoa. see? Mm. Go ahead and kill him. Um, so they've actually added an arrow for every potion effect in the game. So another thing they've added, now open your inventory. Uh, place yes. the brewing stand I've given you. Uh, yes, place it. Yeah. Um, in, put, put the potion of instant damage 2 in the brewing stand. It's the not. It's the, just the normal potion of instant damage. Okay. Place that in the boom stand. Mm -hmm. And place the item called Dragon's Breath. It's the weird pink potion in the top. Um. Yeah. Okay. That may not. I will save that for later then. Um. So, play, okay. place it on the stove. Place it on the stove. Well. The stove. Okay. Yes. Of course. Uh. And you'll notice we. You have an item called a pop flower. I mean, coarse, coarse fruit. You can eat that coarse fruit. Which one? Oh, yes, there it is. Or you, you can, can or, or you can, well, you're not hungry, but you can cook it, too. And you'll get an item called pop coarse fruit. Hmm. Very weird looking to notice that you have one hand. Ooh, I have an idea. Oh, dang it. Oh, I was hoping you could have two hands. You can't. Oh, oh, I'm 
I'm just gonna set it to peaceful. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, some popcorn fruit. Scrumptious. Ooh, I need. Oh, damn mind. You can't eat popcorn fruit, actually. So what else is there? Uh, so with the popcorn fruit, I'm going to give you a bunch of this stuff here. Go over to the crafting table which I've placed. All right. Where's the crafting table? Uh, just behind me. Okay. Yes. Uh, now. so in this you'll be able to actually craft some blocks with that course fruit I gave you. Now, what you want to do? You want to, I'm assuming you want to make an entire grid. I think it's just four. You can make, uh, it's the purple blocks. Now you can make, um, pillars, columns, stairs, slabs, and whatever. Like you normally could. You also so like, like you could with, like, um, uh, um, quartz. Yeah. You've all, this is a new ender block. There's also, you've got some ends in your inventory, yes. I believe. Yes. Uh, now try crafting that into four. Just four, just four. I know, I know. This will give you the new endstone bricks. You can, the, these don't have a stairs variant. Variant. Um. So, put a, you also have a dragon head item. This doesn't. You do not get this from killing the dragon. You can put it on. Hmm. You do not actually get this from killing the dragon. There's a rare dr Ender ship. That's a very oh. rare dungeon that spawns in the end. That this can spawn in. But other than that, you can't actually get it. You can also put it on the ground. Put it on the ground. Preferably on the side of one of those blocks that you've placed. Hey, it moves when you move around. Yeah. Put it, put it on, place it on the side of one of those blocks that you've placed. Side? Okay. Uh, now, uh, put next to it a redstone block. Redstone block. Okay. The mouth actually moves when it's powered. Yes. Oh. So, oh, open your inventory. Okay. Um. So you'll notice there's these things called lingering potions, Nathan. You notice these things called lingering potions. Mhm. Mm these are of damage. So throw one away from you. Uh, these will create a field of whatever effect it is, and anything that goes in there. Will take damage. Anything that walks in there, throw some at these zombies. Throw one at these zombies. Oh gosh. Uh, I'll test that. Okay. Ready? Yeah, throw it between you and the zombie. Does it work on them? Oh yes, that's right. They're already dead. Yeah, so you walk into it. You walk into it. Oh. Ah, ran out. I'll just. I'm just going to throw one at you. So these are your spectral arrows. Sorry, I headshot them. See, see. Ow, ow, see, I'm going to die. When you go into those, now eat a gapple quick. Gapple? Okay. Put the helmet on. Okay. okay, so there's okay. Uh, actually one new mob added. New mob? Yeah. It's called the Shulker. It's really tough, so get out your sword and be ready. Oh. It looks like a per kind of like a purple block and spawned in the Ender Dungeons. It is pretty much the toughest non-boss mob in the game. It will shoot projectiles that will track you. You can attack the projectiles to kill them. Um, and you can only attack it when its shell is open. You ready to fight this thing? Yes. Okay, here it is. No, dodge the projectiles. We still make you levitate. And hit the projectiles. Uh, or that will happen to you. And you will levitate and fly up and fall for great damage. How do I get down? You can't. It, it'll, you'll fall eventually for damage. Ah. No, no. Yeah, that's why you have to hit the projectiles. So that'll keep annoying. happening to you. No. This is what I mean. And imagine these coming at you in troves. See how you just hit the projectile? You could actually do that. This is how you block the projectiles. You, it's closed. You can't hit it, and there's a projectile coming at you from behind. So, and you killed it. Now imagine this is just a basic mob with the engine. Imagine several of those. That would be almost impossible to take out. Of so when you get purple, um, there's these things called coarse fruit. You can see there's one. There's three. Ah, no, what? Ah. I placed 
that's another one. Kill it. Where is it? Yeah, did I already kill it? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, that's just an extra stray bolt from later. You see up here how there's three types of flowers. The dead one, pretty much, the live one, and then the stems. Mm -hmm. uh, so the live ones will grow and place these underneath it as it grows, and eventually they'll die. So break the bottom block. Okay, so apparently uh, breaking uh, the chorus plants in uh, LAN ca crashes the game of the non-host. Mm. So, uh, go ahead and pick those up. Just a note. Okay. Um, so, Indian inv inventory. Um, so, you have some end portals. Go to the end portal. One second, I gotta kill this. Yes? Yeah, so make an end portal. You know how, right? Yes, I do. I just... Yeah, yeah. Just put, place the frame and I'll fill it. No. Frame, it, it's, it's a 3x3, three three, right? Yeah. Without the corners. So there, uh, there's a new... The, the, so I think that's everything except the... Um, so the dragon breath we showed you earlier that we couldn't quite get to work. Um, place nothing in there, please. Do the eyes have to be in first position? I believe they do, right? Yeah, just put it, put another one there. I messed up. Okay. The eyes on the side. Is it that? No. Okay, here. Let me, let's just, I think I might have to close it. Okay, yeah, there we go. Um, so, the Ender Dragon fight's a bit different, so yeah, let's just jump into this. Uh, you can pillar with like the blocks. Yeah. And I'll be able to help you here actually. And my game's not loading. So, so the first thing, one of the first things you notice is that the uh, ender crystals. Some of them are now actually surrounded by cages. Cages, yes. Yeah, it's not. That's quite similar to the Xbox, right? They had that. Yeah, basically they made changes to match the Xbox version. I'm gonna shoot him. See if I do. Shit, loud. Ooh, you can shoot. Yeah. So if you right click on that with an empty glass bottle, will give you the dragon breath we showed you earlier. Which is how you get it, and if you walk into it, you die. Ah! Oh, I'm dead. So you are now dead. Yes. Um, it gives a little message. See that? Yeah, they now have the death message that it was shown shot in there too. So anyway, do you want to just? Uh, we'll cut back after we kill the Ender Dragon. Okay. Okay, welcome back. We killed it. So that took a while and a couple crashes. Yeah. Just stop talking about it. So if if now you... only swords really work against it. They've made it so that bows can't deal damage and enchantment uh, items won't help you unless it's like protection on armor, but yeah. like sharpness. So come over here. So you notice this is a new structure. Get an end pearl out of your inventory. End pearl. When does this spawn? This is the, this is a snapshot. If you throw it in, it it'll take you to the outer Ender Islands. It's a new it's a new area, and also oh. throw it in. So uh, also throw an Ender Pearl. They now work in creative, but if you notice, they have a recharge time. Cool, right? Um, uh, so this is where the chorus plants naturally spawn. As you can see, some really big ones here. Um. If we fly around and we're really lucky, maybe we'll see an Ender Dungeon, but they're really rare. But there's islands, yeah. but there's islands like this, and you can, and each time, up to 20 times, you, you can actually respawn the Ender Dragon. The finalization of the way is not quite complete. Currently, what you have to do is create a clay creeper face, 
but you know they're going to change that I, I think um, so you can create up to 20 portals like that and killing the ender dragon various times and so now the end is really empty. oh hey look there's something over there oh my gosh that is very rare Whoa. that's an end city Okay, out of that rock, you know the one you can get from that, those flowers? Yeah. What's this here? Why is there just a random hole? That's a chunk not loading in for you. Hmm. Yeah. This is just really cool looking. I like them as blocks. But inside there's shulkers to be aware. This is oh, what they're right here, aren't they? Yeah, that's a shulker. See, that's how they spawn. Inside, there should be treasure, so take a poke around. Okay. I'm not, I like the impression of the purple glass. Yeah. So this is an end city, so shulkers do spawn here, like you saw. So be careful. So fly up there. It's like a part little parkour puzzle. Not very difficult parkour, but if you fall, you're falling into shulkers. Yes, yeah, so there's there's banners. And that's where you can find end rods. What are the end rods even really good? Light. And so there's more shulkers. So up here is the treasure. Oh wait, no, that's in the end ships. Never mind. So fly around a little bit more. If you're really really lucky, we might be able to find an end ship. Okay. But which is where you get the dragon head. But they're really 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 rare. See these all these are weird. These little tiny ones. Yeah. It's, so you can bridge across. So, this is what you get after you kill the Ender Dragon. So the end has become a lot more versatile. But like, um, the ships are incredibly rare. What are, what are they made out of? What do they look like? They're, they're basically like a sh pirate ship, yeah. Made out of the same stuff. So let's just fly in a random direction. If one of us sees it, we can okay. shut up. I'm going to try to be cancer. Which one's the speed effect? I guess. One. You have to put in your name. Okay. You can use tab to put in your name. Mm -hmm. oh, this is the, the last one has to be at least two. That's the last one. Oh. I have to draw all this stuff. I just do remember. I remember most of it. Well, I found another city. Oh, this one's really big. Come, come teleport to me. TB to me. TB to you. So the first end city we found was relatively small. This is what they're supposed to be looking like. So this is the kind of thing I think you'd find treasure in. I like the weird shapes of it. Oh yeah, I found treasure. Yeah. Already, yep. Let's see over here. Oh, this is yeah, an iron helmet with projectiles. Knockback two, bane the rifle as V. So touch one. Very good. Yeah, I got beat Whoa, with seeds. Efficiency I beat two. So come look in the other chest. Really good. Yeah, beat oh, this is a really cool area. Yeah, so this is, so like I said, that was really small, so there was, see, this is the parkour thing. So there wasn't a treasure in the other one, but that one was really, really relatively pretty small, as you can see now. But these things are infested with shulkers. You remember how hard it was to fight just one of those things? Yeah. Uh, no, imagine an entire dungeon filled with those things. What, you know, and they camouflage themselves, so you don't see them until it's really pretty much too late. Okay, so the only thing we weren't able to find is the Ender Ship, and that's basically the same, except I don't think the Shulkers and the Dragon Head spawns there. Um, so yeah, we spent a good decent amount of time uh, looking for one. We were unsuccessful. We found uh, another city, but it was smaller than this one and pretty much empty of treasure, so we didn't feel like showing it. So, yeah. Yep. Well, we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.